Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well in our previous video we showed you how to create this little hero section here, this full width section. And if it's got a little icon at the bottom, you hit it, it'll scroll down to the next section. And what we're going to do today is create this simple about us section. And it's got a little scroll effect going on there as well. As you can see when we scroll up, it's sort of growing and the little bar underneath the about us is going to shoot in and appear. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down and I'll simply delete this section here. I'm going to hit the little trash can icon to delete the whole section there. And let's add a new section and we'll start from scratch little purple button here. The reason that's purple and not blue is because our section above is a full width section. Normally that would be blue. So I'm going to use a regular section. I'm going to add a single column single row and this will be for our title. So I'm simply going to use a text module for that. All the light gray modules here are the ones that come as standard with the Divi theme. For anybody that's wondering, the purple ones there are for a Supreme Modules plugin, which is an awesome addition. But we don't need any other plugins today for this. We're just using the onboard modules of the Divi theme itself. So I'm going to use a text module. And I'm simply going to say about us, or whatever it is you wish to call your section. I'm going to make that a title by selecting it, where it says paragraph up here. The little drop down, I'm going to make it a heading two. OK, let's go over to our design and we know that's a heading. So we can select it in a minute, but I want to put everything in the middle. So I'm going to go down to regular text right here. I'm going to roll down. I'm going to hit the little center line there. That'll pop it in the middle. Now you can go down to heading text and find the H2 if you want to, which is right there. Or if you hover over it, you'll notice there's a little round circle with a paintbrush in it. If you click on that, it will take you to exactly the right spot to edit that text. OK, well, I'm going to make mine semi bold. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Thirty six seems good. And I'm going to make it blue to go with the blue that we've got going above. Great. That's the first bit done there. Now for the second bit, I want to add a little line under this. So I'm going to add a new module and we'll use a divider for that. Again, it's just an onboard Divi module. No plugin required. There we are. As you can see, it's put a little line there. And you can choose to show it or not because you can use these as spaces if you're not using them for an actual line. Don't want a link background or an admin label. So I'm going to go to design. I'm going to make it the same color as my text, same blue. I want it solid. There's various different ones you can have, dash, dotted, double groove, all the sort of various CSS and regular styles with HTML. I want it on the top, and that's the top of the section. If you've got padding in your section for spacing purposes, you can put it in the middle or at the bottom. Top's fine for me. Sizing wise, I want it a bit bigger than that. I want it maybe three pixels perhaps, but I only want it really as wide as that word or around that. So the width I'm going to pull down and I'm going to pop it into the center and we're going to keep pulling it down until it's about the size that I want it right there. But I actually want it closer than that. So what I'm going to do is go down to my spacing, which is just below the sizing here. And I'm going to give it a negative margin on the top. And I'm probably going to give it about minus 30. So I'm going to hit negative and then 30. It'll put in the pics. And that's popped it up there. And I think I can shorten that just a little bit more in sizing. Take the width down just a little bit more. You can always increment with the little arrows up and down that way. That's great. That's going to work for me. So that's our second little thing done. OK. Next, I'm going to add a new row from our content. And the reason I'm adding a new row and just not putting it underneath because I'm going to put a scroll effect on this in a minute and we can do different scroll effects for each row. It's just easier than either doing individual modules. So I'm going to add a new row. 
same type of row and inside I'm going to put a bit of content so again I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and get one of those text modules now of course I haven't got any real content so I'm going to go over to lipsum.com and get some lorem ipsum and we'll pop that in there I'll paste that in there and there it is that's about the amount that I want and again I'm not going to put any links or background or ever anything in there like any other text editing module you can change colors of various bits of text by selecting them hitting the color you can bold out certain things and you can add links for instance if you wanted to bold out that first little line there just put that there as you can see that'll bold that out there okay well design wise pretty much can leave the text as it is Divi is standard comes with a ridiculous amount of fonts there are literally hundreds and hundreds of fonts I've been using this theme for several years and I've not gone through all these fonts and if you just hover over one it'll give you an example of what it's going to look like but uh, for me today for expediency I'm just going to leave it as it is but like I say you're not going to run out of fonts quickly with Divi I'm going to leave it regular I don't want to style it at all text color I'm going to leave it just the default color obviously you can put in whatever color you want size is fine too I'm happy with that I will put it all in the middle though there we go great okay well that's our little second bit done there now I'm going to create another row put three little buttons in there with offering various different services that we do or various different things about us and obviously all of this is entirely up to you so I'm going to add another row I'm going to put three columns in this time and I'm going to put a button in again it's just a regular Divi module the reason mine are actually purple and blue here is because that's the way I've got them set up in my theme customizer which is appearance and customize but you can style these individually for each one I'll show you how in a minute and let's say web design put the button link in here obviously you'd be linking to a web design page or your services for that page or whatever you want if it's on your site best practice leave it in the same window which it probably would be for that I'm sure if you're linking to somebody else's site put it in a new tab so your site stays open okay that's all I really want to do there design wise alignment I want it to be in the middle of the module text I'm not going to change but if you wanted to style your button like I say mine are just my default style I've got built in my customizer just flip this little switch to on and you can do backgrounds and hover effects and everything like that for a background color if you put a background color in put a regular background color in if you want to change the color on hover common to most Divi modules hover over the dark legending here these icons will appear if you hit the little arrow it'll give you a desktop and a hover state and you can have one color for desktop and another color color for when you're hovering on it I'm gonna leave mine alone because I've already got the blue in there set and of course you can choose an icon if you want an icon you can turn it off here or you can have it showing all the time by flipping this little switch only show icon on hover for button to know it'll be there all the time I'm happy for mine to just show on hover there great so we've got our first one there now if you've styled it you can just duplicate it and pull it over here rather than just adding a new one for each and to duplicate it hit the two little boxes there it duplicates it grab it pull it over go in obviously change the link and the text similar clone it again I'll pop them over here go in and change the link obviously to wherever it is you want to take them okay well, we're pretty much done here but now I just want to add some scroll effects so it does something when we scroll up the page here so I'm going to leave the actual heading as it is but the actual bar below I'm going to have a scroll effect on 
Now, because we put some negative margin on there, sometimes it can be hard to get to that module if it doesn't pop up like this. And if you have that problem, simply hit the little purple button here and you can go into wireframe view and you can get at it that way. And it's right there, text and there's your divider. But ours seems to be working fine. So let's go back to desktop and let's put a little scroll effect on there. So I'm going to hit the cog to go back in there. All the way over to the advanced tab, let's go down. Here we'll find scroll effects. What do I want it to do? Well, I want it to shrink. I want it to be sort of faded out and I want it to shrink and grow to this size when it gets into view right here. So down the bottom, I want it to sort of not be there and grow and grow and grow. And when it gets up to the top here, it wants to be full size. So I'll do the grow first. So that's scaling up and down right here. And we'll say enable scaling up and down. And we're going to say, let's start it. So down here, let's start it. Maybe about, try 30%. Maybe even less than that. Let's start it at 10%, so it's real small. And when it gets to the middle, we can say 50%. So it's starting off like that. It's getting bigger. And when it gets at the top, it's the right size, but I might want it to be right size before then. And we can drag our 100% down. So it's put it where you want it to be 100% and drag it until it is 100%. We can drag this down. So it's somewhere in between. Scroll back down. There we are. Sort of starting off real small, growing, growing. And it's full size about there not quite to the top that works for me and if you want it to fade as well let's add a fade as well enable fade and we'll start off at zero and we probably want it at 100% so if we go down now I'd like to not see it at all there so so let's drag the 0% up until it disappears as you can see it's disappeared there roll it up and it's starting to appear right there but I don't want it quite a hundred percent there so I'm going to pull this up a bit I'm going to say let's, let's try 70 percent obviously this is all up to you but I'm just showing you how you can do it there we go so it's sort of fading in and growing that's going to work great so I'll save that and what I'm going to do is because we're building more sections like this or we'll be using it on other sections, you can save this row and use it, reuse it on other sections. So you don't have to redo that effect all the time. Just change the width of the thing and the word that you've got in there and it's all done for you. And you can flip the color like I've got down here in this services section, actually. So to save it to your library, just simply hit the little round module next to the trash can there, save to library. I'll call it blue title and then you can reuse it and just to demonstrate how to reuse it I'll trash this and we'll put another row in I'll put it down here and we can drag it up little green button for a new row add from library there's our blue title if you were doing another section now I can just drag this row up to where I want it which is on the top here and that's a real time saver right there Okay, um, only other things we want. I want to do something with this and these as well. Something similar. I'm going to have those sort of scale in as it go, uh, goes up. Very similar. I'm going to go into the row again. I'm going to go to advanced. Scroll effects. Again, I'm just going to use scale. I'm not going to use fade on this one. And let's put it down the bottom. And let's start it off real small. Say 30%. And it's scaling in. That's actually probably fine. I'm not going to change anything else. So that works absolutely fine. And I'll do a similar thing for the buttons below. We go into the row again. You can do one each one individually if you want different things happening. But I'm going to keep it fairly simple today. We go into the row. To advance again. Scroll effects. Scale. Pop that one in. I might have these start off a little bit smaller. Yeah, 
let's start those at 20 percent and again i think that's going to work absolutely fine don't really need to change the middle or the top on that it works for me obviously play with it and get it how you want it but i think that's going to work fine for me and let's save it and i think we're done let's save our draft if you're ready or publish if you're ready exit the visual builder and here we are there's our hero section let's hit our little icon and we'll scroll down there we go and as you can see it's sort of scaled in our little line as we go down no line there it appears and grows our text is appearing and growing when it gets to the center of the screen it's full width and our buttons are expanding there as well so there you have it guys there's a simple about us section with a little scroll effect and like i say we've just used the divi theme here we haven't used any other plugins at all so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.